Good day, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, good to be back yet again. Uh, it's a uh, long time coming, but it's good to be in the latter stages of the year as we anticipate quite a lot of activity in the flight sim community. We are currently uh, waiting on uh, Microsoft 2024 to be released, uh, which have already enrolled the early uh, access uh, to uh, some users and uh, currently is on both the store and the Steam version. But here today, uh, we're going to be discussing iFly uh, 737, yes, uh, iFly 737 Max, which have been uh, released to beta testers. Over some months, we've seen some wonderful pictures of the iFly 737 Max have been uh, released, and uh, oh boy, how good does it look. If you are uh, used to the iFly in uh, the p 3 version uh, V5, uh, then uh, surely you shouldn't have much of an issue navigating around this aircraft. Well, there's been some questions being asked, uh, which you would expect, and one of the questions is When will the iFly 7 uh, for Microsoft be released? At the moment, uh, the team uh, doesn't have a set date, but the team is working very hard and will post more information on uh, when the release date will be. Another question is, uh, will weather radar be included? Then? And uh, also they've said the current version of Microsoft does not have sufficient API to access uh, the weather system. We hope to look at this once the API is added by Azobo. Uh, this issue has been an ongoing one and uh, hopefully Azobo can get this uh, soon fixed. When will the pink kit be released? Uh, the pink kit will be released shortly before the official product is released. So I uh, can show you that you're able to create some of the models your own. And uh, one of the most important questions as well is uh, will there be a uh, Max 8, uh, the 200 and Max 9 variant? And uh, they've also answered to that stating we are only focused on the current Max 8 on release. The uh, Max 8 uh, 200 is planned to be added via a service pack update and uh, we will make announcements of when it's ready. The 200 uh, meaning at a 200 passengers which uh, according to standard up is uh, generally about 180 passenger to 84 in a two class but uh, there is a variant of uh, of 200 passengers that is and uh, the max 9 as well another question is uh, will there be a version for xbox uh, because of the advanced system due to limitations of the running windows uh, applications on xbox at the at the point uh, we can only release the product for pc versions of uh, microsoft and uh, there have been some additional questions which other members clearly have been asking or want to ask and that is of gsx and cpdlc and i can say that they've also mentioned that gsx integration profile will be on launch as well as a cpdlc is in fact supposed to be on release but they've answered to that according to one of the moderators indicating that they may not have cpdlc on launch but would be on a further development after release so uh, there we go, uh, like I said before, if you were uh, familiar with the P3D version 5, uh, then uh, you wouldn't have no issue to integrate into the Microsoft version. However, bear in mind the final product of the Microsoft can have slight differences on the final release. Well, let's do expect this aircraft to for the development along the way. Alright, well, uh, while you're at it guys, you can uh, go ahead over to my channel and uh, See the other videos I've got here uh, as we anticipate the A350 as well as the Black Bower A380 as well as the iFly 737 Max. Are you guys waiting for the uh, Microsoft Flight Sim 2024? Because I am eagerly waiting. Once again, I uh, will see you guys on the next one coming. Uh, do stay uh, for the next one. Uh, have a good day. Bye bye.